This is Tim Colano with Mala Aftermarket. And every now and then I'm, I'm asked uh, about Cork Rubber. Uh, it's one of those situations where if you were not familiar with it 20 or 25 years ago, it seems like an old technology and, and why would anybody still use it or why would he have it? Well, I'll give you some background. So in this particular case, this is a Ford application and there's some Chevrolet applications and Dodge applications and a lot of them are from the 60s up into the 70s. Well, well, one thing that you may not understand is that Cork Rubber was the uh, original equipment gasket back then. And you think, boy, why would they have used Cork Rubber? Well, you got to understand that when you have a situation of a stamped cover that was really pretty weak and was, was kind of pliable, you couldn't put the technology of today in it. And if you did, you'd have to recreate kind of cough cork rubber. So it had to be compressible without a lot of bolt load. In many cases, there'd be four or five little quarter inch fasteners and they'd be tightened down to 70 inch pounds. So you didn't have a lot of bolt load because the more bolt load you put on, you'd bend that stamped cover. In many cases, most of those covers got bent over time anyway. So for those specific applications where they are older and the stamped cover really can't manage to have a material that's too dense because you simply can't make it tight enough for it to seal. So the question of why we still have cork rubber in our line is because for some applications, it is literally the only material that will work effectively. Now, certainly, a uh, hundred thousand mile criteria may not be in the cards for cork rubber, but you have to remember in 1968, the criteria was 12,000 miles. So the, at that moment in time, it was designed for what they believed their warranty life cycle would be, and it worked pretty effectively. So for some applications, and there's not many, there's a few, and they're typically all older, Rubber material, even though it's improved over time, so the heat resistance is better. They've added a little bit more rubber into it than they had before. It doesn't dry out anymore, so it lasts longer on the shelf. It lasts longer in the vehicle, probably actually longer than original equipment. Cork rubber, it works really well in applications with low bolt load and when there really isn't a very rigid cover. There's been some improvements over the years. They have things like load spreaders, so you don't have all that bolt load or a little bit of bolt load in one location. So you can buy some things that'll help it, and it works a little bit better. But there are some things that cork rubber can do that nothing else can. So I just thought it deserved it for the few applications that are out there, and you're expecting to see a three-dimensional molded rubber or even molded rubber for that. Part, even was two dimensional because it takes too much load to compress it. So, cork rubber is the alternative, it's what we offer, it's the only replacement, and like it or not, it is the best alternative for many of those applications. I just want to thank you for the little history lesson here I'm giving you. My name is Tim Galena, thank you very much for your business.